show you a build it may or may not work for you. Unless you can get end game gear, you're still gonna die fast against enemies that can debuff your evasion rate. Or, outright, outgear you, I will show you my build, and some other variants as we go through this series, but I also need to explain the reasoning behind it, and make sure you understand what is going on with evasion and how DR still has its place. First let's clear up some very basics of FAQs. Does evasion allow you to dodge CC? No. Evasion allows you to dodge damage but not the hit and its effects. In the same way you can be hit while behind a wall or object, still get CC or other effects and take no damage. You can check this yourself by having your miss notification on, and see when a hit misses, a knockdown, float, stun or stiffen will still apply, does evasion stop working when you are on the ground. As far as I know, it's not affected, I don't know if it was always that way. You will take more damage on the ground as, special attack damage is applied and you are unable to carry out forward guards and such. You are also a clean and easy target at this point, and the enemy may apply attacks they may not risk if you were standing, so the damage feels so much more, is Shy the best class to go full evasion with, this is down to opinion. She is the most functional evasion class to build evasion on as she can give up all AP and still have a very productive position. But she has no real passive, no passive rate at least and only a small buff on a skill and a small, non-rate bonus you get for being shy. At this time, there is no, basic evasion rate like her creation text states, other classes have evasion passives and stronger self buffs and skill add-ons, meaning they can go way beyond shy's level of evasion, but they can't carry out the same level of disruption and support, so if you wanna be a troll, be an evasion meme striker, if you wanna play the game, Pick shy. When do I start to feel tanky? Never. Mwaha really depends on who you are facing and the current meta build and classes and the average player base gear. That said, 1.2k to 1.3k will start to rule out a lot of the lower players from damaging you nearly as much, so in RBF and such, you can breathe a little and focus more on other targets. Sages, Musa, Rangers and Archers will still rip you apart in seconds if they know what they are doing, even Zerks can be an issue. Even at 1.4k you can die in seconds against a class with high accuracy, important to remember this because if you are building evasion for a free ride, and you can't afford to go full pen accessories, you are gonna be disappointed. The levels we are looking at work well with the style of play you are gonna be show, but if you wanna be a stationary shy, bong going away, hoping no one grabs you. Then you gonna have to get really high gear, and maybe this isn't the series for you, not bashing bongo players, just not what this series is about, nor how I like to play, I'm the shy that doesn't bongo. I love moving around, I love being active, I can't bongo and hop around from target to target, for positioning for buffs and such. We are going to be looking at a very active style of play, good for RBF, maybe not so good in higher end node wars, downside of this active play. You're not in super armor as much, you will get cc'd more. So why listen to what I have to say? I don't know, maybe because I have put a lot of time into playing in RBF as DRAP and evasion shy. From seasonal, trials and dedicated builds. I have shown I can make my style and build work. And I know some are interested. Maybe you know better, that's cool. Maybe make a video and share knowledge so we can all learn and improve. I'm not good at 1v1 PvP on Shy, I've given it a go, I'm okay I guess. But it's not where I shine, we can't all be the best at everything, and that's okay. Doesn't mean we haven't got something useful to say, if a fight is too small, my mind doesn't come alive, I struggle in very small scale and this style may not be so good in larger node wars. 
but it doesn't stop you listening and blending it in with how you play, I have played using low, mid and higher range gear, but not end game. I haven't taken an end game account and made a shy to meme on like some we see. Cool and all but they can't tell you much about the class. After all, they're just having a laugh, I have worked my way up, I have done my own experiments, I have tried what we are told not to try, just to be sure, and tried to think outside of the box, not just to look for new things, but to give ideas on builds that may not be perfect for all, but that one shy out there may shine with a special build, okay, gear, where shall we start? Like any sensible shy we will start in the middle, and hop back and forth, I will pick the middle because you may already be at the lower end, would love the higher end, but a mid-range build is a reasonable, short-term target and will be the sort of goal and timescale you will be looking at. While you are deciding if this path is for you. Where is this middle? Around 1.3k, as 1.1k to 1.2k is when you start to notice lower gear players really failing to hit you. 1.3k becomes difficult for some classes to land a hit even with good gear and 1.4k and higher. You are starting to become more tanky vs a lot of players, apart from high accuracy and them, that know what they are doing. Remembering even at 1.4k, if a good Musa shreds your evasion rate, all the other classes will rip you apart. You're not invulnerable, how you deal with that will come down to style of play, yep. That's right, just putting on the gear will not save your ass, you gonna have to learn to play as well. This is why I can show my gear someone can put the same on or more. And still fail. Seen it happen a few times now, so far we have just looked at the numbers and how it feels. Haven't explained crystals or my gear, why? Well there are many ways to reach these numbers and, crystals and skill add-ons really depend on your style, it's fine tuning, reaching 1.3k with some DR will be your goal. Why some DR? I will explain later. Tech Cardri Guardians will normally give you all you need, instead of Hesus Rings, a green-grey evasion ring. You may wish to ditch the Cardri Rings once you get past 1.4k, this is down to the current accuracy of most player and a balance of damage control, reaching 1.3k with Tech Cardri Rings and be done a few ways, I will give you some ideas while working around my duo Fallen God armor, also a goal you should aim for. Like an idiot, I sold my Cardris before recording. Well, I say idiot, but it was best time to sell, for 1 billion more than I paid, so we will make do with something a little less, but the ideas slash examples still apply, we will look at more gear options and reasoning later on in the series, but this is where we start. This is the target I set myself all the way back when I was 1.1k and ready to give this a proper test. Why the DR? At this level of evasion, I will call it a soft bracket, you're still going to get hit by a lot of players with good gear. The DR won't protect you from death but it will take the edge off splash damage and failed combos. Why not more evasion then? Unless you can push up to that 1.4k plus. The extra evasion at this time seems to give little benefit given the current meta and gear in game. Gear and meta are dynamic, so the tipping point is always moving, but 1.3k seems to be a solid number, you may get stuck around the 1.3k mark for a while, this isn't a bad thing. You are a bit tanky but can still mess up and die fast. This is the perfect bracket to be learning this style, before it all becomes a little too easy. It will be frustrating, you will die a lot, you will feel squishy at times, you kinda are to some classes. You will learn which classes you can tank and which to prioritize, watch, avoid and cc, and, remember, just because you die, doesn't mean you failed. Lots of good players out there and, if you're good too, you will become a high value target. You will have a difficult time. You may find it fun and challenging or you may find it all a bit too much, all I can say is. Remember you're not invulnerable. It's normal to get squashed with this style and build. You can play your best, but if two or three good players jump you, there is no winning that fight. And this is okay.
Put some more gold to the game, ice cold I'm feeling with a cool pop Feeling like car, talking fast to the groove 